Why he went to Israel? Why he should not go to Israel? He went to Israel because he just wanted to, according to his own statement, he wanted to appreciate the Israel scientists. So either he can call these people to come to Delhi, which is usual whenever PSLV and other things are successful. Even I was. Uh, called to go to Delhi when the Narasimha was there for the 93, 94, 93 lunch. Uh, at that time there were restrictions on the expenses. So I don't know if I'm going to do it. This man coming here is better than taking all the people there. You see, he was actually addressing in a crowd, correct? All this crowd was happy and satisfied. Now, if you want, you can take all these people to Delhi. It is not possible. It is not difficult. So, it's a good thing he has done. Sir, uh, also, uh, do you uh, think that the previous governments didn't support the ISRO? No, I, it's, it's not didn't support or anything. The previous government, in, in see, there, there were two governments. One is the previous uh, Congress government and afterwards the Narendra Modi government. In between, you had the Vajpayee government. But uh, the previous government, when it started in the year 1962-63, we were only 20, 23 people, very small in number. And when the first uh, rocket was launched, I think, if I remember correct, it was November 21st of 1966, I think. Um, that was on a borrowed rocket, that is in Nike Apache and Centaur. I think it was in Nike Apache which was launched. Uh, that is to mark the inauguration. I mean, at that time only three buildings were there. One is the school building, uh, and then another one is the church, Magdalene Church, and third one is the bishop's house. So bishop's house was the office of the director, and Kalam's office, that is, we were all there, myself and this week. And the school building was our lab, and church building was housed for uh, other senior scientists. So these are the only three buildings. We never constructed any building. At that time, there was only one jeep and one bus and one car, that is for the director. It's a our infrastructure. So that is a very small starting. But money was not coming as you wanted it in that manner. It took years. Then you had uh, the SLV-3. And SLV-3, I think it was in the year 1979, they had the successful flight, or first flight, I don't remember. And um, you see, generally, uh, first SLV was a failure. And afterwards, SLV-3 was, second one was successful, but the ASLVs were failing. Uh, so, people were mocking at us, saying that this is, uh, SLV was renamed as Sea-Loving Vehicle, and then ASLV was always Sea-Loving Vehicle. And ISRO didn't command any kind of respect like uh, what uh, today ISRO is respecting. So generally, that was the failure modes. A lot of failures were there. Naturally, the faith, uh, uh, it, it was low, low faith at that time. But one thing was obvious, uh, at least from my point of view, I was struggling to make the liquid. And that struggle lasted for so many years. It was processed, Sadish Dhawan, who was supporting my activity. But he was helpless because he couldn't get the money what uh, we were looking for. And I'm sure about it because that he has made it uh, beyond doubt very clearly saying that we are not able to get this money. So, But at that time, only budget available was for PSLV or part of ASLV, that is all. So I was one of the direct sufferers of the for Wanda funds. So we didn't have a building, we didn't have a, 
minimum facilities and we were asked to but still i was so attached to the uh, this one liquid i somehow wanted to make it to work so we tried the first 600 kg to fly now the 600 kg also we had actually it is not borrowed money it was marrowed money it is from some other activities uh, somebody director will give some money very uh, fizzling some with that we made only two rockets normally such things you know they will make some five six rockets if one fails another one will we made only two and the first one everybody said that it is a failure though it was a success because it was just standing on the eye of the people because it was launched towards east that too we were uh, the rocket we were they were afraid they wanted me to launch from uh, srigirikota now srigirikota at that time was just coming up they had nothing it was like original uh, tells uh, no no infrastructure no facilities we were suffering to launch it so the first one we at least some people said it is a failure whereas i believe it was a success then the second one i was just praying god that i have to prove that it is a success so this time i chose night uh, and uh, cloudless night and <laughs> free visibly you can see that and we we launched it and it was visible for everyone to see the flames and stuff like that so they all agreed it was a success so the suffering you had for want of money is not small it is really there then we wanted to go for 3 ton and that too number of uh, rockets we were playing with us one or two at that time only we were uh, going for the isro acp collaboration actually isro acp collaboration was also if you really look at it if we have the required funding why should we go for that collaboration the collaboration itself started because for want of money so see many people do not know uh, they some of look at it politically and uh, but the hard truth is that we didn't have the money at least uh, at least my, i can tell you my project liquid, liquid propulsion system suffered for want of money in spite of the fact that the chairman is so wanted this money to be provided but he couldn't get the money so that was true but you I, i don't blame any government or uh, that was that is that is where i mentioned in my earlier interview somewhere that they they means the government didn't have faith in uh, isro at that time frame but subsequent to that once uh, the pslv was a success and then uh, of course when pslv was success it was 93 it took a long time Uh, and that too even for that 9 uh, years or something like that 7 years uh as money was coming because without money we could not build the facility but that is after proving your credibility you see even the liquid propulsion if you look at it the vikas engine was test fired at tcp facility we didn't have a facility here we test fired it and then showed to not only to the world but also to the isro management and to the government that it works but i don't know whether it is a right policy or wrong policy but that was the fact that is the truth so do you think that uh, this was because of the, the isro was is so experiments was not the priority of that thing no whatever could be the reason the reason could be your priority is not there that is one thing or you have you have not understood Uh, what what is the right priority or even you could have thought that it is not required i don't know or you 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 didn't have any faith that this fellows will come through because at that time when you talk about liquids you didn't have the propellants you didn't have the material to stand that temperature you didn't have the test nothing this is this is where people like me who was at the bottom of the development really either you know one way we felt very sad but still we worked on another way we are very happy when something comes through overwhelmingly happy but these are history this is not known to in the sense that it is not published in all the places saying that oh look at it you know but the truth remains the same for the liquid propulsion in the beginning there were no funding available minimum funding was available with which it was difficult to run the show 
and that way it took longer time. I guess our chairman was saying that the story is planning continuous projects. So, uh, how do you think that private participation? No, to, uh, today it is a good situation because actually it's a, in a way it's a good situation because the private parties when they come in the picture they will have to find the funding so you don't have to find the funding from the government now i also feel that uh, one should not uh, tax the taxpayers money forever this is a different we are now talking differently we should collect the money from different agencies who are having vested in this after all it is business Supposing you, you look at it, Elon Musk is trying for a uh, cheaper launch vehicle or launch capability. You are in a unique position. You have proved yourself that you are, uh, uh, you are trustworthy and you can be trusted upon. Plus, you have also got the required ability to do the job and your cost is low. So it is a win-win situation. Supposing, assuming a situation, Elon Musk is asking for a space system. And if you are able to do that, you win because you are having a job. He wins because he is getting the same thing for a small price. So in, in total, if you really look at it, you don't have to provide the funding, the funding automatically comes. It depends on the private participant here. If the private participant is a smart chap, if he is not, if he is able to market his uh, uh, ability in the international level, I am not saying for ISO level and all, you can go and do in the international level. See, the problem it appears to me is they are new to this business. So, if they know how to be tried in the beginning, long back, actually in the year 1991, yeah, 91 we tried at least. I was carrying some private people to Russia for the cryogenic fabrication, stuff like that. But you know how it landed later, so that, that became a mess. But private parties, at that time itself, we were, were trying to push the private parties, but it was not getting the approval. We were trying to do something like that. I won't say it is a policy problem or it is, somehow it didn't happen. But it can be due to, supposing if somebody is giving the required uh, push, then it could have, but even in USA, if you really look at it, you have a lot of private companies. You have Aerojet General Corporation, Rocketdyne, Thaikal Chemical Corporation, Hercules Powder Company, Bell Aerosys, so many companies are there. I almost I visited every uh, company in the American soil. And even in France, you have private companies who are doing it. Uh, the, the one which, with, with which whom had the collaboration, Society Europe and the Propulsion. And then uh, UK, you have. Even in China, they say private companies are there. So there's nothing. This policy, to sell this policy, we took long time. Now, this government has approved. And there are uh, so many startups, I was told. But then the matter doesn't end there. It only starts from there. They have to be educated, they have to be trained, and they have to be put into the <coughs> proper groove so that they run the business. After all, they have to make money. You, you can't ask them to go dry. So that is where the... It all depends who, who is there. And But we in ISRO should take an unbiased view of encouraging these private people um, so that uh, things go well. That manner. No, actually, that is a study project. I think they are going to study at a distance of 15 lakh kilometers. It is going closer to sun, and they are trying to understand the core and. It's a good project. See, in ISRO, we have no dearth of knowledge or intelligence or anything. The point is, uh, originally, I'm talking about originally in ISRO, we had a, an attitude that we will do everything. 
we will not allow anybody else to get in, step in. Even if it is a bolt, we will do ourselves. But that slowly got changed. Then we were willing to give <coughs> some subsystems, bolts, nuts, other uh, whatever. But uh, then the, the real thing comes, we started giving subsystems, like uh, gas generator, like turbo pump, like gas, uh, the, those things. I think in the recent past, I understand that we have given the whole system itself outside for fabrication. See, these are because of uh, wrong notions of the government, I would say. The, the government is afraid that the difficult to keep the secrecy and uh, could be, I'm not sure about it. But uh, by proper documentation, by proper agreements, see, after all, you are giving the fabrication to a company. If you can trust them, you can as well trust that they can keep the drawings and things like that with them. But I don't think there's anything to be, but it was a wrong notion. That's what I, I believe. Now that uh, private uh, policy has come, this will give a boost. I'm sure about it. Because these people are uh, smart enough to understand the whole thing. And they will go ahead with the, which would release the exchequer from finding the funding for it. That's what I believe. Thank you. Thank you.